Saint James. Saint James. Saint James. The gospel of today gives us great challenge. There are several themes going on in here. The Jews murmured about Jesus because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. In Exodus 16 and also 17, both chapters speaks of how the Israelites in the wilderness murmured, complained bitterly, continuously, insistently against God and against Moses. Christ reminds the Israelites, the Jews here, that they have not stopped murmuring. Their complaints are still forthcoming. That must stop. The second thing I would want us to look at is stop murmuring amongst yourselves. Jesus tells them, the whispering going on amongst yourselves must stop. You don't have the understanding to understand God's ways. You don't have the knowledge to teach each other. Therefore, don't whisper. I am the sign. Look at me and you will see God. The third one, they shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my father and learns from him comes to me. In the rabbinic traditions, we learn that when God draw someone, when, when, when you're drawn to God, it is through the Torah. And so therefore, to be converted, you need to be drawn to the Torah, to the law of the Lord. Here John is telling us to have knowledge of God is to be drawn to Jesus, the sign which is visible, the true face of God amongst men who is Jesus. And therefore, we should allow ourselves to be taught. Isaiah 54 speaks of the Messianic age, which is coming, and he says, God will restore, he will prosper, and teach the children of Israel. But here John is adding in the words of Jesus, Jeremiah 31, which says that to listen is key to the disciple, being a disciple, and learning is essential, and this only comes through humility. To be a disciple of Christ, to be a Christian, to be someone who loves God, who wants to follow God, is to learn through humility and to listen. When we look in the first reading, we are looking at Elijah in despair. Running away from Jezebel and Ahaz. And so therefore God sends an angel to strengthen him by feeding him. When it gets to the part that is speaking of Elijah falling asleep, it is in brackets. So therefore, we neither know whether this is a dream or it is happening. And therefore, God sends an angel to feed Elijah. Twice he wakes him up and twice he feeds him. For the journey ahead is great. With what 
Are we being fed as Christians, as lovers of God, as God's faithful? We are privileged because we have Christ, as in the gospel, who is the bread of life. Not bread among breads, but the bread of life. And so therefore, in our despair, in our anguish, in the challenge we face in life, in our journey as Christians, in our spiritual journeys, we are being strengthened with him who was broken for our salvation, for our redemption. And therefore, the psalmist beautifully sings here, saying, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Are we seeing the goodness of the Lord when we receive him in the Holy Eucharist? Do we acknowledge the fact that Christ is the true bread come down from heaven? Or are we still thinking of what our fathers ate in the desert, in the wilderness, that manna, that bread, which led them to death. Though they ate that, though it came from heaven, God rained this manna, but they ate and died. But Christ is telling us, as the fulfillment of the old law, that he is the bread of life, the bread come down unto us, which has been broken on the cross. He says, when I am lifted up, when the Son of Man is lifted up on the cross, I shall draw all people unto myself. He has drawn all of us, not just the house of Israel, but the whole universe, the cosmos. He has drawn us all to himself. And therefore, we should enjoy this fruit, this food that lasts that gives us eternal life, that gives us the strength to journey on our way in our Christian life into eternity, not journeying on Mount, uh, towards Mount Horeb as Elijah would do, but journeying through the life as a Christian, as children of God. In order to be worthy and do this, Meritoriously and befittingly, we need to listen to what Paul tells the Ephesians. No rivalry, no bitterness, no fury or anger, no shouting against each other, pettiness, but we should be kind to each other. We should show compassion. We should forgive each other their failings. And we should be imitators of God. This is very, very strong. It is very deep. How are we being imitators of God? How am I being an imitator of God? How are you? My dear people of God, imitate God. That is for our reflection today. But let us remember that he has given us Christ, the bread of life. And when we receive him, we receive God. When we receive him, we have God in our hearts, and therefore we are gods, as he said. You are gods and sons of the Most High, and therefore be imitators by showing compassion, by ridding ourselves of malice and anger, by loving one another, by showing compassion towards each other, and through this, in our life's journey, in our journey through our spiritual life, in our journey as Christians, God will continue to nourish us. He will continue to protect us. He will continue to set forth his angels 
to keep us on our ways that we may not hit our foot or knock our foot against a stone. The angel of the Lord is amongst us, is about us, and is with us always. May the Lord continue to bless us, strengthen us to have knowledge of him, to draw us close to him. And may he continue to help us accept truly when we receive him in the Eucharist on our journey through eternal life. God bless us all.